please welcome Norm Macdonald. I'm doing good. I'm having fun. I came uh, here on the airplane and stuff. <laughs> you always kill with that line. I know, I know. <laughs> you, uh, you know, you got the sitcom. It's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. You're living high on the hog. It's yeah. all going good for you. Everything's fine. Yeah. yeah. No, not everything, but everything. You know, a lot of things, right? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you seem all shifty and nervous about something. You're hiding something, aren't you? No, no, no. I See, mean, people don't know you the way I know yeah, you. Right. This guy likes to have a good time. I like to, you know, I, I, I drinks a bit. <laughs> that wasn't what I was talking about. Oh, what were you talking about? <laughs> I was just saying you have a good time. Oh, it's oh, yeah. a real innocent thing to say, yeah. and then you get right into the drinking. Yeah, huh? I, I, occasionally I like to drink a beer, you know. I don't like, I like, you know, regular drinks. Uh, uh, you know, I don't like, I don't like... As opposed to ether? Yeah. <laughs> What, are you talking about? what I was talking about is, you know those, those shooters, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, they're shooters and they're like, uh, uh, they have dirty names, like sex names, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they're all called like, you know, the, the red-headed whore or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's the one I like. <laughs> it's actually named after me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. lousy. But you know, I guess the, the, the idea is in your head, you want to order them because you're drunk, you go, hey, uh, uh, they go, hey, uh, uh, you think maybe you'll get a, you know, they go, you want a red-headed whore? Yeah, yeah, like, right. right? <laughs> you figure right. that Rula Lenska is going to come in, you're going to have, <laughs> right? Yeah. You're going to have yeah, some right. dirty, yeah. dirty sex. <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, what I was going to say was this. But you like, you, you, I mean, I mean, you said you, you sometimes, sometimes you have a little too much to drink, maybe? Well, one time I drank a super amount, and I was, I had, I'd only been... A super amount, yeah. right? It was, it was when I was a young guy. I'd only drunk like eight or nine times in my whole life. I never had gotten really drunk, but I'd had drinks. And I went out with my buddies and I was drinking, and they were having those crazy drinks. And all of a sudden, I was really drunk. And then a guy gave me some pills. Like, he said, hey, you want some pills? And I said, yeah, all right. <laughs> so I ate the pills. And uh, you're not supposed to eat pills with while you drink. I think, I think even if you're not drinking, it's not a good idea when someone goes, you want a bunch of pills? Yeah. I know. I know. This, but, yeah, combining the two. Was, this guy was a decent guy. He was a bouncer. No, no. <laughs> but uh, so I said, yeah, so these pills, they just make you like a hundred times drunker. So then I'm, oh, man, I'm really drunk. And then like time passed, but I don't remember. And then my friends are like, hey, let's go. I'm like, why don't you guys go? Where are you gonna, you know, why go? Right? <laughs> like we're in a bar drinking, right? And like it doesn't seem right that you don't want to go home, you know, and watch uh, uh, I Love Lucy or something. So you're like, hey, I just get stay here. I got new, I make new friends, right? <laughs> so I was like real drunk, and everybody was like cool. It was like a western. It had a jukebox, you know, uh -huh. one of those guy gives you a whole bottle there, you know, and you go ah, and then <laughs> it's, that's you know, what you do when you're drinking ah. ah you yeah. a pirate? Yeah. All of a sudden. And then, uh, it was the funnest, man. There was a big, fat, bearded guy there. Nice. And uh, I was hanging with him, real drunk. All of a sudden, right? I'm like, oh, man, I can't remember anything. I remember, like, I sort of fallen into a pool table or something like that. Right. And then I wake up, right? And it's like, I'm, I'm in a bed. I look beside, there's the fat, bearded guy beside me. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, yeah. So I go, oh, Lord, God, I had sex with the fat, bearded guy. You know? <laughs> And at the time, like, I never had sex before in my life. Yeah. You know, and I always thought, it's gonna, probably going to be with a lady. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So then, I, but I looked over, and the weird thing was, instead of us being in the same bed, he's in a separate bed, right? Like, we have two separate oh, it's beds. Oh, like twin beds. Twin yeah. beds. So then I'm like, wait a minute, now this is weird, because, you know, why would we be in separate beds? Is he like an old-fashioned gay guy, you know? And then, <laughs> Right? But he has the he has the good values, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're not all, married there's yet. There's no yeah. such thing, of course, as an old fashioned gay guy. They're the most decadent people. So I said What? With <laughs> sex, you know, they enjoy sex like crazy. You know? We mustn't generalize. No, we, we mustn't generalize. No, but, but go ahead. Seriously. They you know, you if there was a bathhouse for straight guys, we wouldn't be able to have sex nine, ten times a night anyway. So anyways. That, <laughs> I'm, I'm with. They love 
sex. It's a good thing. But I'm beside the, the, the fat bearded guy. I go, holy Lord. Anyways, it turns out, not a gay man at all. Turns out this guy, when I blacked out, had checked me into a rehab. No. Yeah. And she's in there with you? Yeah. So I'm, I got, and I got robes and a slipper and they wouldn't give me my clothes back. And I had to stay in there for three days. And they're, they're like, you're an alcoholic. I go, no, I'm not. And then apparently that's what alcoholics say too, you know? So then, uh, for three days, I had to stay there. I had to go to AA meetings, uh -huh. and I'd only been drunk like nine times. Right? <laughs> so they're like, "What's your worst one?" I go, "I guess the ninth one was bad, you know." Right. That was, uh, and and when did you hit bottom? I I said, "I don't know." The cool part of it was the girls all get up, right, and they're all their stories are all the same. Whenever they hit bottom, right. every story is the same. They're like, "Oh, uh, w when I hit bottom, uh, you know, uh, I." I uh, a guy for a drink, you know, and you're like, oh. <laughs> you know, I <laughs> yeah. so, Take them out of the studio for the norm part and then bring them back? No. Get a salad guard up, something? So anyways. All right, no, well, but, that's a nice story. No, but it's a, it's a serious, it's a serious uh, illness, you know? <laughs> yeah, no. Alcoholism. Uh -huh. It's yeah. an illness. It's an illness, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. It's a good illness because you get, you, <laughs> you know, there's not a lot of illnesses. You get to be drunk all yeah, the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Corker. You hang on one second. Okay. We're going to have, we haven't even scratched the surface with Norm. So uh, hang on. We'll be right back. Stick around.